Hey everybody, this is GGB. This is my friend Mason. He's decided to join me for this amazing, amazing Thursday night football game. Hi Mason, how's it going? Pretty good, Eli. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Dude, it's insane. Okay, so my viewers, if you did not know, why I'm recording not in my dorm room like I normally am is there's a hurricane going on in Florida. I don't know, Ooh, really surprised. <laughs> it's a big surprise. I don't know if, it, like it came out of nowhere. No one really saw it coming. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I retreated back to my hometown of Pensacola, Florida, which with my friend Mason, and today we're going to be talking about the Dolphins and the Bengals, two teams I picked to make the playoffs. And it's honestly going to be a really interesting matchup. Obviously, the Dolphins are undefeated yeah. and the Bengals are one and two and desperately needing a win. So I'd like to hear Mason's analysis of the game and then I'll get into mine. I think it's going to be a good game. You know, I know in the past few weeks, everybody's like, oh, the Bengals, they've kind of lost it. I don't think so. I think, yeah, they kind of have that Super Bowl hangover. They had a, a couple of injuries, key injuries on the defensive side, which they do, if I'm correct, the latest report had a couple of injuries on the defensive side for the Bengals, which should be interesting because a couple of minutes ago, I checked the latest injury report, and apparently Tua and Jalen Waddle should be good to go for tonight. Now, we'll see if they actually are good to go, but yeah, according to the reports, they're good to go, and I think that's going to be a real test for this Bengals defense. I think one of the most interesting matchups of the day is going to be Tyreek Hill on Eli Apple. We all know Eli Apple is one of the best corners of all time. Legitimately great, dude. Uh, he has all the right to trash on the Saints and the Giants because he obviously oh, yeah. is one of the best corners of all time. He's so good. He's not like the prime reason they lost the Super Bowl or anything. Yeah, his performance in the last Super Bowl was just... It was go to He like, single-handedly won the Super Bowl for the Rams. Like, as what a, a Giants fan, I just want to say, Eli Apple, if you ever see this, I see you are completely forgiven for trashing on our franchise. Not like we've won four Super Bowls and you were a complete bust for us or anything. And as a Saints fan, I'd like to say wholeheartedly to Eli Apple, I am still in love with you. I think you were great with my Saints. You weren't one of the major reasons why we never won a Super Bowl. And it's not like you left the number two option open every single play in every single game we ever played. It's not like you sucked. Uh, and that's why the reason we let you walk, it's because you were just too good for this football team. Yeah, it's not like you were one of the most, oh, you were just, you would get so many flags, but that's not <laughs> your fault. You know, it's always the receiver. Dude, it was like, the ref's fault, dude. They were yeah, always they, like, they were against you for some reason. I don't know why, dude. Everyone loves you here in New Orleans. It's not like you're the most hated player of all time or anything. Yeah. Same for the Giants. <laughs> we love you, Eli Apple. Eli Apple, we're in love with you. And if you want to come back to either of our cities, you can do so. Um, we can't guarantee your safety, but you can have a fun time in New Orleans or New York. Let's go, dude. Yeah, totally didn't ban you from a bar or anything like I read earlier. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's go, Eli Apple. But honestly, into the game, it's actually going to be a really fascinating football game. Number one, you have Joe Burrow versus Tua Tagovailoa. Everyone was saying a Tua might be a bust, but heading into the year, obviously 3-0. and Great football team where he has right now with the Dolphins. And uh, Joe Burrow coming off a of Super Bowl. This was honestly one of the most goaded quarterback classes I've seen in a while. Like, we're not even talking about Justin Herbert, who is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. And Jalen Hurts, who's, who is also an undefeated team. Absolute insane quarterback class. But these two going against each other is going to be so much fun to watch. Um, I think a big problem in this football game is going to be Eli Apple on... Uh, Tyreek Hill, obviously. Uh, Tyreek Hill is an elite receiver in the NFL. Eli Apple is obviously the best corner of all time. So I think it's going to be a really fun matchup. <laughs> Dude, Eli Apple is so good. It's insane. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a really good game. Let's get into our picks. Who do you have winning this football game, Mason? I've got to go with the Dolphins. Um, I think if Tua and the offense can go out there, if he's not... 100%, which I've read, I've been reading up reports saying that he has had been struggling with back injuries at practice this week. And I think if Tua can go out there, play somewhat decent of a game, he doesn't have to be the greatest quarterback. He just needs to play a decent game, avoid turnovers as much as possible. And I think the Dolphins could win it. So I'm going to go with the Dolphins. For this See, game. I'm going to go the opposite way. I think the Bengals need this game, right? They're coming off. They started 0-2. They got a big win against the Jets, but this is going to be their first real test, right? They played the Steelers in week one in a Dallas, uh, Dak prescott list Dallas Cowboys and they lost to both of those football teams. And I think the Bengals are starting finding 
Oh my god. <laughs> Starting to finally come back and look like the football team that made it all the way to the Super Bowl. Uh, they still have Joe Burrow. They still have Jamar Chase. Uh, they still have a smoke alarm that's beeping in the background. <laughs> but uh, the defense for the Miami Dolphins, I think, has some weak spots. Xavier and Howard not, might, might not be able to play in this football game. That would be a huge loss for Miami trying to cover Jamar Chase. And not having their starting safety, Brandon Jones, could also really hurt this football team and trying to protect the deep shot. I think this is kind of a shootout between Tua and Joe Burrow, but I think Joe Burrow has the ball at the end of the game, and I think he leads his team on a game-winning drive. And Evan McPherson exercises his demons and makes a game-winning field goal. Money Mac. Yeah, let's go. Uh, this is my Florida Gator right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to shout out Mason in the comment section. Let's go, guys.